Um, Obrite. Uh, let's see. So Obrite is weak to these uh, Skaven, Skavens right here. Uh, let me use the Tomahawk a little stronger. And we'll put Obrite right here and attack you. So yeah, this battle does go on for quite a while. Because, you know, there's so much going on. I'm still going to go inside the cargo area to clear stuff out. There's a couple barrels I still want to destroy. Uh, Grace will heal... Symbios. I could let the life ring handle it, but... I mean, Grace has this MP that needs to be used, so I'm going to fucking use it. And build up as many friendships as I possibly can as well. Because getting that soulmate status where you could do stuff from a range of two is just wonderful. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Masculine right here. And we're going to blast these fuckers with a delicious blaze too. Here I come! Here I come. Ah, shut up, Masculine. Now, I think I'm going to send uh, Dantares back into the cargo hold. And will I send somebody else? No, I'm going to send, I think, only Dantares. He will probably be enough. Thanks for the herb, bitch. <clears throat> Alright, so let's uh, go into there. Uh, Symbios. You know what? I'm going to send... Symbios in there as well. And everyone else, I'm going to mo I'm going to move everyone towards the barrel on the top and get the healing rain. And wow, only 3 damage. Not the greatest Irene. <clears throat> yeah, so maybe I should send Hayward in there as well so we could clean business up very fast. Um What do I want to do here? No, they're, they're not going to need him. So, uh, I'm going to have Hayward just wait. And we're going to send Obright to go get the healing rain. <clears throat> and everyone else is just chilling. So, I probably could have been, like, more aggressive in here and taken out these enemies in the barrel while traveling through. But I wanted, you know, I just wanted to get to Irene as fast as possible and ensure that she would be safe. <clears throat> There's no reason to uh, take chances. Okay, so Masker needs to be healed a little bit. And we've just got this group of enemies here, which is not anything too scary. We do have the one Dark Mage. You know, you just want to be careful of them because that freeze does do a lot of damage to the point where I, I was scared for a second about Masker and like, oh boy. That, that did a large amount of her health. Alright, so we're just waiting. Obright, next turn, can get the barrel. And no one's hurt. Alright, so now we're just waiting out here. Okay, Dantares will not do anything there because he can't actually get him. Uh, let's attack the Skaven and kill him. Huh. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, yeah, critical hit. Okay. Awesome critical hit there, Dantares. So that's what happens when you don't learn a weapon level before attacking. Alright, so he's going to go for Dantares. And do a freeze Uno. Doing a staggering... 10 damage. Uh, how much MP does this boy have? One. So he doesn't have a spell in him left anyway. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to uh, move over to our Steel Sword. Symbios, just hit him with your special and let's get out of here. Or not. Oh, it wasn't even required. Alright. Oh, Medical Herb. Nice. I'll probably use that on Dantares. I think I'll probably uh, send Dantares to get that barrel out there, and I will immediately leave with Symbios. Uh, we'll let Dantares probably sit the rest of this battle out. It'll take him some time to get back uh, out here. 
Okay, and now, whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> you know what I didn't do is, yeah, check to make sure Obright has enough space. I don't want to lose anything here. Now, don't ask me how he's able to use an axe as a fucking Captain America boomerang shield. The answer is I don't know. I, I, uh, yeah, you got me. I mean, how he's able to hit the enemy and have it recoil exactly to him? Shocking, to say the least. Uh, okay, so let's stand right here. And take out the barrel. And that should be everything in here. Fuck you, Barrel! Yes, it's always going to be Barrel Massacre when I'm here. Never let any Barrels survive. Divine Punishment is what they need to get. Okay, so now that we got Irene, his advice changed. Attack your opponent's weakness. Thank you, Benetram. And nothing in here, so we're done. Cool. Alright, Symbiotes, get the fuck out of there. Uh, Alright, so let me assess the situation. So we got two goblins, a sniper, and a dark mage. Okay. Uh, Symbios this first turn won't be able to do anything. But we'll start maneuvering a little bit closer. Birdman still just chilling. Uh, Hayward can do nothing. Okay, and Obright got the uh, healing rain. Which we probably won't ever even use. And let's have Obright come back. All right, let's maneuver Grace over here. And, yeah, nothing to do out here, so we can just get the fuck out. I do like this. This is such a cool, like, idea. Like, having the multiple maps and stuff. Very, very groovy. Very groovy. What am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of Lemon from Shining Force 2. Uh, at the very end, when he gets hit by the Xeon fire, is it? Yeah, yeah, the fire, and then... He shakes it off, and he's like, groovy. It's like, okay, Lemon. I didn't realize we were talking like that now. Okay, so the Birdman just decides to fuck off. That's fine, I guess. And the Sniper does one. Impressive. Impressive. Truly remarkable. Uh, Hayward, let's... Well, I don't want to incur too much of the Goblin's Wrath. That might not be the greatest. Oh, going for Symbios. Okay. Well, you're an idiot. One. Nice. Now, that Birdman flew up on top of that crate. Uh, even though he is an enemy, uh, we will not actually be defeating him in this battle. Uh, killing all other enemies will complete the battle. Alright, so let's uh, heal up that damage Hayward took from the Goblin. Goblins are able to do a little bit of damage. Ooh, there's a friendship. I like it. A little bit of damage to Hayward. <clears throat> oh yeah, here we go. Think I'll retreat up to the top of these crates. Okay. Uh, I would have Maskrin use Blaze level 2, but... But I'm actually going to have her do it. Why the fuck wouldn't I? If I've got two enemies lined up like this, fuck them. Uh, but you know what I should do? Is I... Oh, perfect. I was going to say, I should let Irene get at least... Oh, come on, Masquerade. That's why I shouldn't have done Blaze 2. Because we need to spread the wealth here. Friendships, baby. Yeah, Masquerade, uh... The fact that uh, magic power scales up with your weapon level makes magic a much more viable source of attacking in this game than in previous Shining Forces. Oh, here comes the Dark Mage! Hello, good sir! Ooh! This is going to lower Maskrin to a scary level of health, though. But we're alright. I'll be able to heal her, no problem. Yep, yep, 8 damage. Yes, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, Symbios. Symbios has a medical herb, so I will heal her. Here you go, girl.
Oh, okay, Irene, Irene. Let's have Irene get this kill. Beautiful. Bitch, bitch! Little combo from this nice little minx right here. Good shit, girl. Alright, so the Birdman is not going to do anything. want to get that damn barrel. I uh, guess we'll attack uh, Mr. Gobble, Gobble, Goblin. Bullseye. Oh, Bullseye! Damn, we are fucking strong. Taking the Goblins down to 1 HP in a second like that. Oh, cool. Obright's only level 4, so we can let Obright do a little damage here. I love it. Uh, definitely am also going to let Obright or Irene kill the Dark Mage. Uh, no one is hurt, right? No, I don't think so. Ain't, damn. Enemies are too fucking weak. You scrubs. Alright, so we're gonna have Maskerin blast this hateful barrel. This barrel said a couple of racist comments to us, and we don't like that. So you know what, Beryl? You can burn in hell. Yeah, Beryl. How do you like that, motherfucker? I can't wait till the end of the game when I attack a barrel and do like 120 damage to it. Get like, you know, the, the ultimate special by Julian in Scenario 3 or something. Yeah, Beryl, fuck you. Okay, anything left? No, we got all barrels destroyed. All that's left is the Dark Mage, okay. Uh, again, let's have... Oh, just gonna attack, you idiot. You numbskull. Freeze does a lot of damage. Oh, well, he, he's just a dumb fucking bitch. What can I say? Uh, no, I'm not gonna attack with Symbios. Yep, there's the life ring. Okay, Irene can do some damage. Probably enough to where Obright could finish off the Dark Mage. Uh, maybe. Damn, she only did five. Yeah, Irene does not hit hard this early on. Uh, what is that? She's got 62 experience. Okay. Uh, Hayward is too strong. He'll kill the Dark Mage. Okay, Obright. Go ahead. I feel like this isn't going to kill it. Yeah, that's all right. We'll let, uh... We'll let someone else do it. Whatever. We're fine. We're fine. There's no rush. No rush, and since we're not grinding for a while. Oh, we're going for a little tornado level two. I see you. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have Irene heal, and then we'll have Obright kill the mage. Okay, so this worked out pretty well then. This actually enabled us to get some uh, pretty solid uh, friendships and experience for these fools. Okay, so we'll have Irene heal Dantares. Bringing her pretty close to a level up. And then Obright will kill the Dark Mage. Which, if he's not going to level up from it, he'll get close enough. Yes, yeah, so you're just jerking off. Hayward's doing nothing. 68. Damn, I don't think he's not going to level up. Ain't that some bullshit? Alright, so this was a fun battle, but looks like it is Dunzo. Yeah, this guy is actually like a, a unit. You just can't attack him. All right, bye, Dark Mage. Blah! Get that boomerang axe right in your mouth. All right, so these bandits are fucked. All we got left is him. Okay, so Dantares just said that he's all that's left, Lord Symbios. And then it's like, oh, good job, Dantares. Dropping names, and now he knows who we are. We're the remnants of the Republican army. Although he does recognize Benetram anyway, so Dantares didn't blow our cover there. The guy would have recognized Benetram no matter what. Alright, so we're worth a lot more than this cargo is. And he's going to go inform Boss Sharath. Remember, Sharath, we heard about him before at the end of Chapter 1. He's the leader of the bandits. Uh, his brother's from Dusty Village and return to collect Benetram's head. All right, bye! Good job, fuckers. We let him get away. So now Sharath is coming for our ass. All right, take a look around. Oh, yeah. Remnants of a battle. 
So once they see all this carnage, then they're probably going to start checking things a little more thoroughly. We're not going to be able to sneak aboard the cargo. Yeah. Ain't that some shit. What terrible luck we had. That was a coincidence there. The whole town will be searched from stem to stern. A little nautical reference there. Okay, Benetram. Okay, I see you. Oh, yeah. The town will be turned upside down. So we got to get the fuck out of here. Oh, life. What can we do? All right. So we are out of there. Uh, I want to take a quick trip over here. Even though, like, you know, we got to get out of town as quick as possible, we'll still be able to egress back here. Uh, I want to talk to my boy Julian real fast. Oh, yeah, he's just the same dialogue. Yeah, we know about the Vandals, and we also know about the Thousand Year Kingdom. Yeah, we sure do. I'm impressed. Bye. All right, let's uh, go drop a save then. Actually, wait, 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 no, no. I mean, uh, I'm gonna put away this crap, bitch, out of the way. I'm gonna put a lot of this uh, crap that we got into the storage. Well, not really crap, but uh, we don't need the angel wing. Have fun. Uh, we do not need the healing drop either. Uh, we need that ruin map, and we don't need the healing rain. Okay, so Irene has a medical herb. Uh, Dantares needs one of Maskern's medical herbs. Okay. Let me do that real quick. Uh, the next battle is also going to be a little tricky because the next battle is the battle with the Ruin in it. So, going to need to be well uh, prepared for that. They'll come to inspect this place too. We got to get the fuck out of here. Ain't that some shit? Oh, and then they've got the same dialogue as before. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about Irene, though? She's new. I'm so lucky! Master Irene luck now, much more good. Okay, so she's talking about her master back wherever she's from. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad Irene is really happy and stuff. I, you know what? That warms my heart. Because she's a very good character, and she will be very useful to our eradication of the Balsam sect. Alright, so even though I know that this is going to be, like, in the middle of a video, I'll probably, uh, splash it together. I just am now starting a recording session, and I just have to say, God damn, Baja Blast is good. Woo! I just can't, this shit is, oh, man. Mmm. Alright, so, today... I am going to be going through a couple of tough fights. Uh, so I wanted to come in here and I wanted to look at the inventory. Okay, yeah, we got this. How many herbs? We only got four herbs in here. Uh, that lucky cookie. Yeah, that'll be very important. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to do a little shopping right now before we leave. Because as soon as we leave Railhead here, we're going to be going directly into a battle. Uh, there's not going to be much time for jerking off, so we need to get shit done now. So, I want to buy... Uh, I don't know. Maybe at least 10 medical herbs, maybe closer to 20. Uh, hold on, let me see. How... Yeah, you know, you can't just buy, like, a huge, big bulk of them. It goes by pretty slow. Okay, so... I'm going to buy uh, between 10 to 15 to 20 medical herbs in preparation right now because there is, I did talk about it a little bit, but we are cut, um, getting pretty close to a sequence where we're not going to have um, access to a shop. So I'm just going to get some uh, medical herbs, you know, for, you know, for that section. Uh, damn, another day where I can't talk. Sometimes I start recording and I just can't fucking talk and today's one of those days. God damn it. Okay, so now we have 19 in the uh, storage here. I think that'll probably be uh, sufficient because uh, I am going to be doing a little grinding coming up pretty soon as well to uh, better prepare ourselves for some of the events that are going to be taking place. 
Uh, the next two chapters have a lot of interesting events in them, so I like to be well prepared. Uh, speaking of being well prepared, I'm actually going to go to the Shaparuski here. And I would like to grab a bronze knife, and we're going to give this to Maskerin. Uh, the reason I'm doing this will become apparent very quickly here. Alright, so we gave the bronze knife to Maskerin, and let's get the fuck out of Railhead. Bye! Oh yeah, bye squared. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's some good shit right there. Alright, so our plan to, you know, get on the train aboard the cargo... Basically, you just got, you know, we're shit out of luck with that. So, now we need to figure out a different way to return to the Republic. Yeah, the bandits suck dick. We actually do have incredibly bad luck. But a lot of it's probably not luck where, you know, being targeted by a lot of different groups, which is more of our problem. Okay. Okay. And so here comes Julian. Yep, we met him at the tavern in Railhead. That's true. Talking about vandals and shit. So what do you have to say, Julian? Republican rubes. Oh, damn, Julian. So harsh. Your words are harsh. A switching point. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, Benetram, you're not going to slip anything past Benetram. He is a genius. Okay, yep, so uh, Julian, he's a mercenary from, you know, not nearby. Yeah, true, a local so soldier will be turning us in. Very clever, Benetram. Trusting this stranger. Well, if he's willing to help us and he's not going to turn us in, I'll trust him. Sure. Those guys over there. Nani? Oh, look. Looks like we're going to go into a fucking battle. Okay, so looks like Garzel, in the meantime, while he's fighting Produn, has sent a small force back to Railhead. And we've been discovered now. All right, so now we got to fight the Imperial Army. I'll be knighted for your capture. Okay, if you think you can capture us, be my guest, motherfucker. Okay, so it looks like Julian is going to join up with us, which is very good because he is a hero. He's a hero class, just like Symbios. You know, he's a, you know... a in the same, like, job class as all the main characters of the Shining Force games. So, Julian is very powerful. Very powerful. Alright, so the Imperial Army's here. We're going straight into a battle room. Yeah, what's your name, stranger? Even though it already did say Julian. Yeah, he's Julian. And he joins! Yahoo! So now we have two heroes in the party, which is, like, way... Like, that's pretty overpowered. All right, so let's take a look at him. Uh, so here he is, level four. So his level's not too high. And he uses blades. Um, Symbios is using swords. Julian is using blades. And Medion uses uh, rapiers. Okay, now as far as this actual battle goes, this battle's really, you know, not hard at all. Okay, don't get confused. Watch the flyers anticipate their moves. Um, basically, the thing with this battle is, you know, we got the ruins right here. That's the main attraction here. Uh, we got this large enemy force. Nothing too crazy. Uh, their Imperial Mage does have Blaze 2. Uh, we got a Priest. He's got Tornado and Heal 2. Not so bad. Now, I think this is just a regular... No, I, uh, get, uh, I can't get over there. Yeah, here's the battalion leader, Halbert, okay? And then this is just a regular Destonia soldier, yeah. Alright, so, nothing too bad. We're probably... I'm gonna send the whole force over to the ruins. A lot of the birdmen are gonna come over and fight us. And then a couple of these guys will stay here. At that point, we'll take care of the ruins, snake over here, and uh, come do this fight. 
Again, I never have a problem doing these fights the long way. Nothing too, you know, wrong there. But, uh, okay. So, the reason I gave Maskerin the bronze knife was so that she can hand it over to Julian right now. So, boom. Uh, no, 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 no. So now Julian has his long-range weapon. Uh, I am noticing Julian's attack power only at 18. That is pretty low. I mean, compare that to Symbios at fucking 24. Like, you know, <laughs> Julian, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, playboy. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So let's uh, get him out here. Uh, yeah, none of the other enemies will be able to walk in. So here's Julian. And if you listen, you'll notice he actually has a different theme for when he attacks. Uh, that's the way that's going to go, is that I believe there's a different theme for uh, the non-promoted, promoted classes for all three scenarios. Uh, okay, so Julian is out there by himself, though, and he's not as tanky as, you know, Symbios. He's just, right now... He does start off a bit weak, but uh, we can get him up to speed rather quickly where he'll become, you know, just as strong as any other hero would. And yes, all of these fucking birdmen, we got it. Alright, she's gonna go for- how much is Julian gonna take here? Julian takes three. Okay, that makes sense.